I'm David Fleming from the Disciples Ignited YouTube channel where we're focused on Jesus, advancing his kingdom, and preparing his disciples. Now we're studying the wilderness journey, the time when the Lord delivered the Israelites from their slavery in Egypt and then delivered them miraculously through the Red Sea and then took them took them into the wilderness where he was going to prepare them for the time that they would take over the promised land as he had promised. But today we're going to talk a little bit more about the song of Moses, the song that Moses sang after the Lord had delivered them through the Red Sea. It is a song of triumph, it is a song of praise, and it is full of revelation concerning the Lord himself. I've already shared two of my favorite verses that are found in Exodus chapter 15, where uh, that is the account of the Song of Moses. Today, I want to share one more verse. It is so powerful. It is Exodus chapter 15, verse 11. Listen to this. Who among the gods is like you, Lord? Who is like you? Majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders. Now, many people just kind of read over this and, and say, well, yeah, that's great. But, but they don't really understand that when Moses is singing, who among the gods is like you? Now, of course, Moses is not saying that there are more than one gods. That No, the Bible says that there is one God. We know him as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, three in one. The Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. But yet Moses said, who among the gods, little g? Well, this is actually the Hebrew word Elohim that speaks of other created beings, but these are other created beings that God has placed in his council in heaven that he uses to help him rule his kingdom. Oh, so these are very prestigious positions, and they are called Elohim which in the NIV is translated God. So who among the created beings who are high and exalted, who among them are like you, O Lord? Who is like you? And then Moses turns his attentions towards the Lord himself and says, Who is like you, Lord? Majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders? Oh, yes. This is the Lord who has revealed himself awesome, glorious, majestic, powerful. That day at the Red Sea when he delivered the Israelites from the hand of, the, uh, of Pharaoh and the uh, Egyptian army. But even among all those who are high and exalted in heaven above, who is like the Lord? No one. Jesus the Lord above all, who is King of kings and Lord of lords, who has been given the name above every other name, who is like you? There's none. He is majestic in holiness. Jesus is awesome in glory. Jesus is the worker of wonders. What a mighty God we serve. That should put us on our knees with, with, with just such reverence and worship and awe. We serve a mighty God. As Moses has already said, he is a warrior. He is a, a worker of great power. But he is majestic in holiness. Awesome in glory working wonders, we know him by the name Jesus. Glory be to his name. We'll see you tomorrow.